Hello, Bracket fans. This is Griff the Grip Newman. Uh, and this is uh, David uh, Dog Sims? The dog! Bark, bark, bark. Oh, yeah, right. Woo! Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're here with uh, the Fuckmaster. Hey, what's up? Fuckmaster here. <laughs> ah, let me uh, tell you from experience, uh, I think Fuckmaster can agree with me on this one. Not all dogs go to heaven. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go to hell, baby, because I'm bad. Oh, what's that? We've been canceled? Oh. I'm being handed a piece of paper. <laughs> oh, I'm handcuffed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, uh, a lot of allegations about the fuckmaster coming to light. Uh, what's that? Oh, I'm currently suffering from a head cold and a sore throat, which makes it easier for me to talk in this voice than my normal voice. Fantastic, because that means I really don't have to make much of an effort as we talk about our bracket. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Griffin. Hey, I'm David I'm... Sims. Blank check. Yeah, yeah we're just going to do a little March Madness. We're going to do a little blank checking. Oh, a blank check in. A blank check in. A blank check in. On uh, the bracket. The bracket. Which has been going strong. Yeah. Um, now I'm trying to remember where we were last time we did the bracket. Uh, well, I uh, correctly predicted well, I, that. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum here? Uh, well, I, uh, I, uh, something has uh, uh, survived. <laughs> you know that's his only scene in that fucking movie? Yeah, I know. In Forbidden Kingdom, you mean? Yeah. yeah well, I'm just going to, you know what? I'm just going to do the second round. I'm just going to do the Sweet 16 on. We were at the end of the first round oh, okay, last perfect. time. Yeah. I had successfully predicted that Wes Anderson was going to butcher Elaine May. A very confident prediction. That oh, was that's totally right. Yeah, no, correct. you're right. Okay, yeah. So yeah, Sam Raimi kicked Warren Beatty's ass. Elaine Which May, we knew, shanked Wes Anderson and Surprise. left him on a garbage island. Cal surprise. Uh, Michael Mann uh, just suplexed Terrence Malick. You're big in the suplex these <laughs> I days. I know. I love it. Um, uh, Hackerling uh, beat Michael Bay and uh, try to heckle that. <laughs> Great. Um, and uh, Luke Besson made it through the first round against Darren Aronofsky. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so let's talk about the Sweet 16 sure. and uh, the Elite Eight and uh, then what's coming up in the future. Okay. All right. So here's some of the matches we had. Fincher versus 70s Altman. I think this one stung for you. This one stung. Altman was lot. your guy. Altman was my guy. He was probably the one you were rooting for the most, apart from maybe Dante. Yeah, I'd say those were my two, and I, I thought he put up such a good fight in the first round. He did. That I thought maybe he stood a chance, and it was it was a trouncing. I mean, because Altman just edged Quaron in the first round. And, so, and this is, but this know. is the other thing. We had thought, okay, PTA and uh, Fincher... Are, are the buzz saws first and second seed? PTA proved very vulnerable, so yeah. I thought maybe Fincher isn't as strong as we thought. Just you know what, guys, and Fincher's made it through. Just like when you're voting, think about the fact that we could always do David Fincher. Here, I mean, we put him on the bracket, so it's on us. Look, but we I'm don't, don't want to sway votes, but let's let's put it this way, okay? Sometimes when the listenership's a little bit low, <laughs> we're like, who's a big person where all their movies are hits? Exactly. Everyone's seen their movie. Listen, right. and as the as the producer, I uh -huh. gotta tell you, I kind of agree. Like that we should do Fincher. Well, I'm just saying more when you do popular directors, right. you get more listens without Pop. fail. Right. Yeah, and usually I don't know. Like that's what comes why we're to mind, rooting for Elaine May. <laughs> yeah, what comes to that's mind is when movies are unavailable uh, <laughs> in any, any format, format except for yeah. incredibly rare DVDs. Strangely, I don't know if this is going to surprise you guys. Strangely, what are you going to? The, 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 the listeners, listeners go are down. Alive. Wow, yeah. that's um, a little podcast inside baseball for you guys. Our, Hold our on, next guitar riff. <laughs> I should have formally announced here our next miniseries is Fatty Arbuckle because <laughs> uh, he's totally free of any controversy and also all his films are readily available on Nickelodeon. So if you want to go to your local Nickelodeon, throw down a... All right. We're actually just going to do a, a deep penny. dive Phantom, okay. uh, Phantom Podcast style with uh, the movie the, the, the Day the Clown Cry. All right. So, so look forward to that. All right. So actually, you know, it wasn't so bad. It was 5743. I'm looking back at the results. You oh, know? it was closer than I thought. All right. So, but, but it is one of those things where it's like Fight Club would be one of our biggest episodes ever, but neither of us really want to talk about Fight Club. But I think that's why people want us to talk about Fight Club. We'll have a fine time talking about Fight Club. I don't know. It's about a Fight Club. Well, the well, first rule is we shouldn't really mm, talk about it. Yeah, actually, should I cut that out? You should cut, yeah, that, you should out. cut that out, double it, and cut it out again. All right. <laughs> so the next matchup was Gore Verbinski versus Guillermo del Toro. This was our most voted on matchup. Yeah, 40. All. 
two hundred votes or something crazy like, like that. Gore lost with more votes yeah. than most winners have gotten. And I think Karen Hahn deserves a big she round does. of applause Give, for that. She fought hard. Don't be a bore. Vote for Gore. Yeah, but unfortunately, you weirdos who like it was sort of like a weird silent majority thing where like there weren't a lot of people being like I love Guillermo, but right. he he snuck it out. Look, Fifty-one obviously to a forty-nine. People's favorite, but we thought Gore was really popular with our listeners. Not only that, people blankies. always tweet at me being like, I mean, Gore, Gore Verbinski's a must. Also. Yeah. Another thing, and then I'm moving on. People keep saying we'd have to do five Pirates movies. No, just yeah, three. Just three. Just three. three. You get out hey, on the good one. He's not a Michael Bay You one. get out on the good one. Interesting. All right. Next matchup was Peter Jackson versus George Miller. George Miller, a lower seed than Jackson, but he soundly defeats him 54 to 46. You Thank God. I know. Seated Rainey and Miller both lower than I thought they should be. And I said, I, big franchises. Reason, and you went, eh. I, well, with Raimi, I wasn't so skeptical, but with Matt, the Mad Max, I was like, Mad Max is a big franchise? Yeah, my friend. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so he, The babes. I think there's the happy also, feet. I also think there's some Hobbit fatigue. I think sure. six Hobbit movies, you know. Yeah, but also people fucking love Fury Road. Fury Road is one of the greatest check clears in True. blockbuster cinema. I like that movie. Uh, next was Martin Brest versus Sofia Coppola. So another Griffin fave. Yeah. Uh, Coppola took him down 56 to 44. Look, and I love Coppola. People say, oh, I don't want to hear them talk about Coppola because they're going to rag on Coppola. I'm a Coppola fan. Yeah, you're a Coppola fan. I'm kind of a Coppola non-committal. Sure. I like a couple of them. But, I mean, look, at the end of the day, I'm a breast man. Of course. And <laughs> I'm more of a leg guy. I wanted the breast man to win, and, and he didn't. I just think he's the kind of guy where we would... Rarely have the courage <laughs> yes, go ahead. to commit to a mini series because of the fear of hemorrhaging listeners. So it's like, oh, guys, if you guys could vote for him, then we'd be able to justify nope. it. Nope, he lost. He lost. Boy, but keep going. The next matchup was Paul Thomas Anderson versus Nancy Myers. Hells and yeah. I, Paul, PTA was never in the lead. It yeah. was close, 53 no. to 47. But uh, Nan- this is when Nancy really revealed herself as a force to be reckoned She's going to go all the way. That's my prediction. Your prediction is she's taking it all the way. I think she's taking it all the way. Uh, and then Joe Dante versus Sam Raimi wasn't even close. And I know Dante was your boy. Dante's peak was we too early. We see him high. Yeah, he peaked. And yeah. then he got boiled alive in a hot spring. In the inferno. Yeah, in Dante's the inferno. inferno. Exactly. Uh, that was uh, 62 to 38. And I love me some Raimi, but come on, guys. Raimi would be fun, though. Raimi would be fun. Yeah, he'd be fun. Uh, next was Elaine May versus Michael Mann. Now, Elaine May had had a little bit of a Cinderella triumph over uh I think she got 165% Anderson. of the vote against Wes Anderson. Yeah, people were not eager for a Wes Anderson no. miniseries, thank God. But Michael May has sort of proven Michael himself. Michael May? And Michael Mann. Michael Mann. Wow, they could imagine merging those two. Yeah. What a force. Yeah, my. Uh The Fiend for Mojitas himself, he has been... Pretty unstoppable. He took her down sixty-seven to you thirty-three. Must be thrilled. I am thrilled. He's my guy. Yeah. So you can Michael Mansplain your way through an entire miniseries. <laughs> I believe Emma Stefanski had the great Twitter joke. I want to shout it out right now, which is what do what is it that Michael Mann's fans call themselves? Men? <laughs> Still think about that. Five one. comedy points. Uh, and then uh, Amy Heckerling. Uh, yeah, she took down Luke Besson pretty easily. 55 oh, to 45. Oh, look who's talking now. Luke who's talking. <laughs> 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 All right. So in the quarterfinals, yeah. in the Elite Eight. Okay, Elite Eight. Here we go. Fincher versus Del Toro. Uh, that was uh, pretty smooth sailing for uh-huh. Fincher. Uh, yeah, so Del Toro, Del Toro was a bit of a sacrificial lamb there. I think if Verbinski had made it, one, Karen Han, Karen Han would have had a goddamn conniption fit and probably right. would have pushed him over the line. Yes. It would have at least been closer. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. And there were people tweeting at me about recounts. Yeah. About electoral college versus popular vote. They were well, trying to find something. Friend of the podcast, past and future guest Lux Alptrom tweeted that a vote for Gore Verbinski is a vote for Griffin's loss of virginity story. That's true. Because I had forgotten that I lost my virginity during Pirates of the Caribbean 3 at World's one, End. One day we'll talk about it. But then people got angry where they said, I already voted against Gore. Yeah, There's right. an hour How left on the clock. Back? Yeah. And I, to them I say... Trust me, you don't want to hear that story. Yeah, it's, I've heard that story more than once. Uh, anyway, Fincher <laughs> destroyed Del Toro. Now, the next matchup was Miller versus Coppola. Closer. Yes. But Miller, again, had a solid lead the whole time. 54 uh-huh. to 46 yeah. was how he beat her. He's riding that fury road. Um, and then today, we had Nancy Myers versus Sam Raimi. That's ongoing as we podcast. Right. Myers is in the lead. She's kicking ass. Right. Uh, I will double check the... Um, the yes, it's fifty six to forty four. I don't think 
Raimi's going to pull this out. No, I don't either. On There's the, been a war in my Twitter mentions. On the day this episode is coming out, sure, we'll be in the final match of the Elite Eight. Ma- Michael Mann versus Amy Hecker. We'll be in the throes of that. Now, this will probably be Mann's first test. Yeah. Um, but I still, I the, 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 the sort of might he's had so far, I don't know. But, you know, Heckerling's taken two pretty big guys down. So, I don't know. Maybe she'll... It's a real... Those are real polar opposite filmmakers, Michael Mann and Amy Heckerling. Yeah, you also could get to a point here where it's it's the final four is two men on one side, two women on one side. That's possible. It could be Myers Heckerling on one side. That's true. Right. Yeah. Because uh, then the two... Uh, it's whoever, Fincher Miller is going to be one side of the bracket. Done. Written in stone. That's right. That's right. planned. And then the other side is going to be pro- Myers versus blank. And could be man, could be Heckerling. I, I see a lot of man stands in yeah. the, uh, a lot of man stands. We call them fiends for mojitos. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. In the, in the Reddit. Yep. Uh, so I think man's going to pull this one out, but I think man winning is yeah. only going to weaponize the Myers supporters even more. Yeah. You mean in the next matchup? Yes. Yeah. That might be a real. A real bloodbath. That's yeah, the thing. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know what happens. I there. think if Man beats Heckerling, then Myers trounces Man. We'll see. I think you're right. I think there's a weird, like, there's the sort of chaos reigns people have gone over to Nancy. Uh huh. And then there's just the people who are like, with God as my witness, I want these boys to talk about Nancy Myers. Like, it's become a sort of right. religious thing for them. And then John Braylock just wants to watch the world burn. Twisted. So that's, yeah. And then I guess that's what we got coming up. Oh, God. It's right. So There's not much to look forward to. So Fincher Miller, I think Fincher has that, but maybe not. Yeah. I've under I've underrated Miller this whole time. Yes. So maybe I'm wrong. I, I think uh, oh God. I mean Miller's Meyer would be an exciting head to head for me. Be a weird one. Those that's are not two, what I would have predicted. Me neither, but that's what I like about this March Madness. It's neither us picking people strategically yeah. nor picking our favorites. Right. It's it's those are actual people's choice winners. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's what I like about that. Uh, my hope is that it comes down to Miller Myers, and I'll be thrilled with either of those results. I'd be a little less excited with Fincher and Man, two people whose filmographies I love, but I feel like are more often chewed. Fuckmaster. I I gotta just with disagree with you there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, sorry, Fuckmaster. winded so, let, from fucking. Let me put a nice cigarette out. I'm put a, it out in his tongue. I'm a man, man. <laughs> And uh, you're a man. I'm a man. Yeah. So With sorry, because that's kind of you know what you know, you'd like expect. Cops and robbers. But I'm a populist guy. I think man would do good for the show. He has some yeah. great fucking movies. He'd be fun. And I got to tell you, I like a lot of Fincher movies. Maybe it's boring. Maybe it's territory that's been crossed before. But I'm glad whatever. that the fuckmaster is the one speaking up for these two directors. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'll so say, that's I'll, been our I'll throw this yeah. not to sway the vote again, but. Would you Mom, lose your virginity to fucking the keep? No, get out of here. <laughs> I only lost my virginity once. Okay. And and barely at that. Sure. So, so you know, the, we, we might need to do a recount on that one. Uh, sure. I don't yeah. even know what I'm saying. I'm no. so fucking sick. He's my sick. brain is Both pouring out of my ears. Both times we recorded this, you've been very sick. Very sick, and I'm about to go fucking see Ready Player One, which is going to melt me. Yep, great. I'm going to turn to a popsicle. Look forward to that episode. Puddle. Mm-hmm. A pudsicle. Correct. Romley Newman, friend of the show, past and future guest, longtime sister, has promised that if Nancy Myers wins, she will contribute a Rom's Kitchen Corner segment. That was my idea. I want to point out Romley's Kitchen Corner. idea. Romley has agreed to it. We're yes. working out the terms of the contract. <sighs> but Romley would do a segment. Yes, I think that's much the best. like Tars talk exactly, where she weighs in on the specific kitchen of every movie. Right, because the kitchens always change. It's a big kitchen filmography, exactly. and then you get to. Uh, uh, it's complicated where it is. It, it's it's a kitchen movie. It's a kitchen film. It's not a kitchen sink drama. It's a kitchen remodeling drama. R- dramedy. Yeah. Uh, ben has a phone out. It looks like he's about to say something. Oh, I, I just I, if we're wrapping up, I mean, really, we quick, are wrapping we up. We should probably thank some of the sponsors for the episode. Um, so uh, shrimp powder. Here's the thing, right? You don't need fresh shrimp anymore when you could just use powder in a soup to Take add a shrimp headphone. flavor. Uh, find my map app. So if you've lost a map and you need an app, you know, to find that map, well, you've got find my map map. I'm sorry. I must ask. Find my map app. Does it help you find a physical map or your map app, which is in a folder on your apps, folders on your phone? Both. Uh, oh, we boy. have boys na- noise canceling headphones. Are you tired of listening to boys? <laughs> mm-hmm. Got some out. 
Too much noise from your sure. boys? Yeah. yeah, I got it. Okay, great. Uh, a, T, or T, you have to pick now. <laughs> hey, you, pro- you have a problem with lunch? You're starving? Food jar put in your mouth. No chefs were involved. God, I forgot how many ads we crammed into yeah, this yeah. episode. Uh, okay, a new Food service, jar. Cod Pass. Ding dong. Oh, yeah, sorry. Ding dong. Uh, hey, let me can play a rose, <laughs> All right. No, I'm not done. Cod past. Damn candy, man. It's a can. book about cod from the past. When do you write these things? <laughs> when he's like drunk too much NyQuil, probably. I mean, oh, we're now exiting the no spin zones. <laughs> See you fuckers later. All right. Uh, right. Thanks for listening, guys. Remember to vote on twitter.com yeah. slash blank check pod. Ever heard of it? Yeah. Twitter? Yeah, exactly. Great website. Never did anything wrong. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go see Ready Player One, and uh, I'll see you guys later. It's David Dog. Come on, do your signature sign-off. Uh, oof. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and this is Griff. Uh, Griff Newman saying, fuck you later. Uh-huh. <laughs>